There is no way a rodent can defeat a leopard. Or is there? Ouch, that's gotta hurt. If you're thinking about the prickliest of rodents, the porcupine, then the answer is yes. Even though they don't throw their quills when threatened, your best bet is to stay away. So how dangerous is a porcupine? What are porcupine's quills made of? And why can they be useful to humans? When facing a predator, a porcupine will most likely swing its sharp quills around. They may not kill other animals, but those quills sure hurt. The most common porcupine species live in North America, where they sometimes crash parties at campgrounds and chew on canoe paddles. But other porcupines live in Africa, Europe, and Asia. Although they walk around heavily armed, porcupines are mostly harmless. Their bodies have soft hair, and the sharp quills on their backs, sides, and tails usually lie flat unless the porcupine feels threatened. Then they stand up to remind potential attackers that this animal is no easy meal. The quills detach when something touches them, and porcupines grow new quills to replace the lost ones. A typical North American porcupine may have over 30,000 quills. So if you ever see a porcupine, stay a safe distance of six meters away and do not disturb them. They can be fearless. Recent studies show that porcupines will use their quills to attack other animals, including leopards. And if a porcupine attacks you, you're in for a nasty experience. Getting spiked by a porcupine quill can be very painful, and removing them is not easy. The quills have barbs and scales that penetrate skin and help the quill lodge into the tissue very firmly. And if you try to pull them out, they tend to move inward. Clever. The deeper they penetrate, the more infection they can cause. The best advice is to get medical help to remove the quills and treat your wounds. But what happens if a porcupine accidentally stabs itself or another porcupine? Luckily, their quills have an antibiotic coating, but it only works on porcupines. That's pretty sneaky. And as for mating, they have a weird ritual. After winning a female's attention, the male sprays her from up to 1.8 meters away with his urine. When the female porcupine lowers her quills and moves her barbed tail to the side, the two can mate without hurting each other. But porcupine quills could help us. They're extremely resistant to buckling under pressure and could hold the secret to lighter, stronger materials. This could inspire future materials for buildings and vehicles. The quill's mix of shell, foam, and stiffeners could also help us design biologically inspired structures. According to researchers at the University of Toronto, the foam in quills helps them absorb energy and stay lightweight. If we could design medical needles and surgical staples with the same structure, they would be much smaller, require 56% less force to enter flesh, and likely cause less damage to our tissues. Now that we've met the prickliest rodent, why don't we take a look at the most relaxed rodent in the world, the capybara. Having a body covered with sharp quills and using them to defeat predators is what porcupines do. And that's what makes them crazy creatures.